Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to look at a fragrance from Dolce & Gabbana called Intenso. My little sample here, my little sample sprayer here. And I've been wearing this at work a couple times. Um, the bottle looks really nice. It's uh, sort of a gold lettering with a black bottle. Very classy, elegant looking bottle. I do believe this is a flanker of the original Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme, which is a very classy fragrance as well with tobacco and citrus. Uh, now this one is a woody aromatic. It came out in 2014. And uh, it's got top notes of water notes, basil, lavender, geranium, and marigold. Middle notes of tobacco, hay, mopal, bran, and clary sage. And in the base, lavadanum, sandalwood, cypress, musk, and amber. So with this one, I still pick up on some citrus here in the opening. Almost like a lemon or something. And I definitely do get like a tobacco feel. Here, though, it's kind of like a very uh, interesting blend here. You get like uh, the citrus blending with this herbal tobacco musk kind of a smell. And it almost has like a bit of a leathery quality as well. Kind of uh, breezy, transparent smelling. But when you wear it, it definitely does seem to be kind of strong as well. Uh, I didn't really get any compliments or complaints on this one. Uh, to me, it kind of has like this um, very classy, um, elegant kind of feel to it. Almost more of a fragrance that a guy would wear around other guys than women. I'm not really sure if this is something that would be considered a sexy fragrance. Not a lot of sweetness here. You know, there's a bit of amber there in the base, but really sort of a dry, earthy kind of a feel to it. Um, you see there's some hay and bran mentioned there. It gives it a bit of like an earthy, animalic feel. Um, some people might compare it with uh, Serge Latin's Chergui because of the hay and the tobacco. Um, another one it kind of reminds me of is Hugo Boss Elements, which was a nice herbal tobacco fragrance as well. I say if you like tobacco fragrances, something sort of uh, very masculine, but kind of modern at the same time, if it's the original Dolce & Gabbana, Port Ohm, and you want to try something a little bit different. Now, this one isn't really what I would call like a, a powerhouse so much, but, you know, it can be a bit cloying, I think, if you overapplied it. But just be careful with the sprays here, and this could be a great work fragrance, something that you could probably even wear every day. Um, it's not really something that I found to be a compliment getter, but I think it does have a nice, classy feel to it. And uh, it's pleasant enough. I thought it was nice. Not really something that I would probably buy, but uh, glad I had a chance to check this one out. Um, I'm a big fan of Dolce & Gabbana fragrances. You know, this one didn't wow me like the one did, but uh, I would probably say, you know, it's kind of in the same vein as the original Poor Ohm. If you like that one, maybe didn't want as much citrus, but, you know, you like that tobacco feel that it also had. This one's a good one to check out. So let's get into some scores. The smell, 7 out of 10. A nice smell, but nothing spectacular in my opinion. Certainly wearable and uh, very elegant and refined. Projection longevity, I'd say at least for a couple, two to three hours, uh, it did pretty well. Uh, and it should you know, hang in there for five or six hours. A uniqueness, I'll give it 7 out of 10. It's a flanker of the original, but this one I think is different enough that you could justify owning, owning both the original and the intensive versions. Uh, versatility, 7 out of 10. I really think this could be a signature fragrance for a lot of people. Uh, certainly, um, with the tobacco and the herbaceous quality, it's a good fall fragrance, uh, cool weather fragrance. Uh, in the summertime, probably more indoors. I don't know if I'd wear this outside on a hot day, you know, but uh, pretty versatile in my opinion. 7 out of 10. Price point, now the fragrance net. Uh, you can get uh, anything from the 1.3 at 27.74 to the 4.2 at 44.24. So really, this one's starting to drop down in price, making it very um, attractive and uh, tempting to pick up. Overall, seven out of ten. A nice, uh, you know, fragrance. Fans of like the classic smelling fragrances might want to check this one out. Like a slight modern twist to the classic Dolce and Gabbana. Pro own theme. So that's my thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.